Amen. It's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest known 2K in existence. And look, the modded controllers have found a secret to expand your green windows. Vice, someone who be doing documentaries and all that nonsense, has dropped a nuke on trash at NBA 2K25. Finally, we are getting assistance to fight these demonic demons and a lot more things. Well, before we get into any of that, y'all make sure y'all subscribe if y'all are new. You want to be up to date with the 2K25 nonsense, man. And make sure you hit that like button. It helps you young swan grow so toots did a test i already knew this i've been telling y'all about this for years i don't know if anyone actually tested it but i always knew this was true but he did a test and what he found is if you slow the jump shot down the ticks basically you know the max speed would be very fast and then one tick would be fast and then another tick would be normal another tick would be slow and then very slow whatever right so there's a difference okay the green window is 35 milliseconds compared to 32 milliseconds a second y'all let me know how y'all feel about that now look i'm always testing the speeds of the jumper trying to really give y'all the sauce now on a 99 three point i used it for the first time last night though the game is horrible someone needs to find mike wang and hold this encounter what the f is this doing what has he done to the game i love why on any build i've ever played on i'm shooting worst on the 99 three build bro I, i'm not at, okay i know i ain't played it two days but bro i play it bro it makes no sense make every shot in my court i i went to the wreck i was missing dog and i was using patty mills a jump shot you unlock i switched the speeds you know and i was missing more than any other build it makes no sense guys every legend shooting badge it makes no sense i don't care what people gonna be saying about oh your visual cue you can't see it dog. guys something's going on <laughs> bro i got my lethals everything bro i it is ridiculous. I, I I have no idea. And a few days ago, I played with a 2K League player who went on a 99-3 build for the first time. And he's normally a lockdown. And he missed damn near every shot. That makes no sense. You have a 99-3. Now, you watch my last video. So There's some people commenting like, oh, that's not counting all the badge difference. Oh, the 99-3. Oh, you get to get 7 out of 10 shots. And the 63, get 5 out of 10 shots. Shots. It's not counting the badge differences. Guys, I was shooting normal shots, dog. Like nothing too crazy. Wide open. All these legend badges. I miss it. There's just, there's no way, bro. Guys, there's no way something's happening, bro. I'm telling you, bro. If you got the bread or you got a friend, I'm telling you, try it, bro. You will see. It makes no sense. I tried another jump shot and he got basically the same results. I don't know if Patty Mills is trash, but... I shoot better on a 91-3 build. I shoot better on an 80-something-3 build. Now, Vice dropped an article. NBA 2K. 2K is for the dollars, okay? Could we be getting a less expensive 2K in the future? So, he says he's 100% against 2K taking advantage of us, okay? Games are $70 a pop now. No one should be forced to spend another 50 to 75. It's a lot more. You don't even know, Vice. I can really put you on game, boy. It's really a hundred, a build. It used to be 150 a build. This not counting clothes and all the other different tactics that would blow your mind to get you to spend money, right? The clothes cost so much. There are sweaters that cost ten dollars in real life. Okay, but the build system is also. And y'all, let me know how y'all feel about this. The build system is designed in a way to where you can make so many mistakes that that a hundred that you spent could be a waste. And the gameplay is so fluky and horrible that it entices you to try to do different things and to just to have fun to find a build that works. You're just trying to have fun. You have a long day at work. Your life sucks you want to get on the game and have fun it it barely works it's horrible there are so many users millions the majority who spend a hundred dollars on a build and their build don't even work right because they're trying to cater to that negative one percent casual that's another conversation but then you say grinding isn't fun in a game where you are simulating doing something you can only dream of this is so true. I know some people might like that, but I, I hate the grinding thing. I love to just go play. I wish I could just play uh, like, you know, a fighting game. You don't have to grind that damn player up. You have everything instantly. I wish there was modes like that. Like the 2K League, you just go and play, but they won't do that because they know it will affect the bottom line. Some people live vicariously through these games and career modes. <laughs> 
that's definitely a lot of people. Fortunately, this is the way they've chosen to handle this game, and it's a shame. It truly is, man. Especially someone like me who's been playing since the first 2K, dog. It's really sad, dog, just to see how gameplay is just went downhill and everything's just so expensive. It's sad. No more kids on the game anymore. <laughs> it's it's insanity. You went and played online, you wouldn't say this, right? From the moment you get into the main menu, you're met with the pop ups asking you for money. Can't even get into the mode first, man. I need everyone working on the game to see this no one wants to start off as a 60 overall and grind their way up to enjoy a single player experience uh, some people are like that i can understand for the single player experience but they do that for the multiplayer experience because they know no one wants to do that because it's impossible to have any type of fun you're just going to get thrashed so you're basically enticed to spend that break play the game to i don't know if he been watching my streams or what man like he quoting your boy we play the game to escape to a world where we could be an nba player not work Work like one. <laughs> I swear, bro. Predatory and aggressive monetization. 10 plus years. Yeah, man. Wasn't as bad as it used to be. It's like, to me, dog, if you are gonna charge 100 a bill, the game has to be way better. It has to work way better. Things have to, you know, it has to be fun. Like, it has to be quick, explosive, fast. You can't give us this slow, clunky game. I'm missing with a 99.3. I don't. 100 a bill, bro? I put the cap breakers on the 99 to get the 99 i got all the legend badges and i'm missing and i'm not timing it cooked i don't know bro I don't, I don't know. You, you can't do that. That's crazy, bro. It makes no sense. I'm not talking about making contested shots from half court. Bro, I'm wide open at the three, bro. I don't know what's going on, bro. It's so crazy, bro. I don't know. Maybe Patty Mills is broke. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know if I'm tripping, bro. It, it It's so crazy, bro. I don't I don't know. Maybe I'm cooked. I don't know. I ain't played in like 40 hours before uh tonight or last night, but that, that was crazy, dog. And he's an avid fan, man. So, hey, man, any other articles? Y'all y'all let your boy know. We can get the message out there. So maybe in uh 2K46, uh, we'll get a good uh 2K game, you know? Old head swan. <laughs> Now look, this guy tweeted, it's impossible to streak in a park unless you are a big streamer. This is true, and it's not even about being a big streamer. It's if you are beatable, right? Because you can have a following and people aren't going to pull up unless you have like the access to TikTok. And only certain people know how to not get banned on TikTok and they won't tell anybody. I don't know. They talk crazy. They never get banned. Rarely get banned. They can have long streams. So it boosts their numbers everywhere. And TikTok kids, they pull up on you nonstop. And the only way to have people pull up on you is if you're basically people feel like they have a chance version. If you're God, they're they're not pulling up. Now this guy says that he's a COD player, right? He says, if you like skill-based matchmaking, you suck. How y'all feel about this? He says the replies are full of brain dead people as expected. I want to dominate lobbies and get dominated. I want some variety to my game. It's sensible. The skill-based matchmaking algorithm wants you to go 15 and 15 every game against the same 15 people. That's kind of crazy. I don't think people know how to look from other people's perspectives. I only support skill-based matchmaking in 2K because it's going to make creators talk that real about the game. But in every other game, I don't I don't I don't too much like it, man. I remember in every COD before like skill-based got crazy. I would easily have like a 1.8. I think Ghost I had like a 1.6 and then before, before then I was like high 2. Point KDs and I was always like the best player in the search lobbies. Always had the most kills everything and i would barely play it right these newer cards that i'm barely playing bro i've never had such a low kd but i guess it's designed like that i don't know i was level five i got a four point something kd they put me versus gods flying across the sky doing omni movement i don't even know how to do that all because i went four point something kd i'm level five so i guess they're trying to stop smurfs <laughs> I don't know, bro, but that that's horrible. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it, man. This guy's saying he got banned from playing starting five. I guess he's ranked number eight. Maybe he's lying. Who knows? A lot of people are being banned for going on massive streaks. Y'all think they finesse it? This guy said there's something wrong with the ban system. He's saying this guy got banned. He went on a hundred plus streak. Uh, Double H got banned because they, they're going on a hundred streaks. I don't know how they're getting games, especially Double H is a sweat. I don't, I don't know. I guess I guess he got the juice like that. Solo going on a hundred streaks. I don't know how they're, I don't know how you're getting that many games. I could easily go on a hundred streaks, but I wouldn't be able to get games. 
and people, you know, usually people only pull up if you like you're crazy funny or they think they can beat you. But to be like a god and have people pull up, I don't know. That's crazy. I don't know how they doing that. But um, maybe uh, I heard. Well, in the comments, they were saying that people was trying to get them banned by pulling up with brown shirts and standing out of bounds. I don't know. Maybe the system detects you keep playing the same team. Who knows if they know whatever? I don't. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. And then they saying they lost to a Zen Titan user. Look, this guy, poor innocent guy, man. I have a 0.9 KD. I've never had such a bad KD on any COD ever. Every game I play on Black Ops 6 is like this. It's impossible to snipe on. OCE servers are too sweaty. I don't even know what that means. Skill-based matchmaking is broken. As you can see, he's just getting destroyed. I think that camo's like crazy. So, I mean, he has to be some type of good. But a 0.9 KD, is that... Is that above average now? Like, <laughs> what's going on? He says, I'm trying to have fun, but every single game is like this. Oh, damn. Click the video on the screen if you want to hear about some more gameplay changes. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.